So the question we want to answer today is this. Can plants actually get cancer? What do you think? Yes? No? Well, they actually can develop tumors, very rarely, but as far as the cancer that becomes malignant and migrates and spreads, no, absolutely not. Plants have very rigid cell walls. They don't have a circulatory system like animals and humans do, and so they can't spread cancer. Cancer in our body comes from our normal cells becoming damaged and then adapting to a different type of metabolism where they're fermenting glucose as a backup system. And so consuming anything that has cancer and putting in the body will not give you cancer. Actually, it's just the reverse. Many plants or herbs have phytonutrients that have the ability to prevent, impede, delay, or even cure cancer. Now, the difference between a plant and an herb is a plant is a general term to describe the plant kingdom. An herb is a plant that can be used by our bodies either for food or medicine. Now, this is interesting. 60% of cancer patients in the U.S. use some form of agent or extract uh, from different plants. In fact, quite a few drugs and even drugs that address cancer are derived from plants. But here are some very popular plants that are very anti-cancer. Curcumin, green tea, resveratrol, which is an extract from grapes, sulforaphane from broccoli or broccoli sprouts. And then you have the entire cruciferous vegetables, which have hundreds of different chemicals that are anti-cancer. Garlic has allicin, which is very anti-cancer, milk thistle, parsley, ginger, and the list goes on and on. If you want more information about cancer, I put some links down below. Check it out. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.